Hey guys, hope you guys are fine. So I'm smiling all today because I'm um, talking about the embryology of the, uh, the pituitary gland on MBBS Naja. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. Now, this I described the embryology of the pituitary gland. Um, this is the development of the pituitary gland. Okay. Um, this is just like the process okay um just an overview just know that the pituitary gland has the anterior side and the posterior side okay now on um, the pituitary gland consists of um two distinct parts which are the adenohypophysis and the neurohypophysis the adenohypophysis is the anterior compartment while the neurohypophysis uh, is the posterior compartment um they develop from different source now we see that the adenohypophysis uh, hypophysis develop as an upward evagination of the ectoderm lining the roof of the stemodium. Okay, um, the stemodium is the primitive oral cavity. Okay, now it is called the rat's case pouch in the third week of the interuterine life. Now later, the pouch cuts off from the primitive mouth. The anterior wall of the rat's case pouch proliferates and extends to form the word pars distalis. Um, also known as the pars anterior, okay? Um, this is the, the adenohypophysis that we are talking about. Um, uh, this is a rat's case pouch, okay? Um, normally, all these embryology videos, they make sense after you watch them like at least three times, you feel me? All right, so um, this is the uh, development of the rat's case pouch, and this is, you know, that that's the adenohypophysis, okay? Um... Now, we say that the posterior wall remains thin and forms what pass media. Okay, uh, this is the posterior wall. It is thin and it forms pass media that we are talking about. Now, next, um, cleft of the rat's case pouch persists as hypoglossal cleft. Okay, um, cleft, cleft of rat's case pouch persists as hypoglossal cleft. Now, a small extension of the pars anterior grows upward along the infundibular stalk and eventually surround it to form the pars um, tuberalis. Okay, small extension of the pars anterior grows upward along the infundibular stalk and eventually surround it to form the pars um, tuberalis. Okay, um, this is the growth that we are talking about. All right, grows around um, the infundibular stalk, all right, uh, forming the pars tuberalis. Okay, um, extension of the pars anterior. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, um, this is um, another <coughs> image showing um, the development. Uh, you see the rat's case pouch as is an invagination. So it's developing and it is growing out to become the anterior pituitary gland. And the posterior pituitary gland too is here for you guys to look at. How about the high, uh, the, the neurohypophysis? That's the posterior pituitary gland. It develops from a downward invagination of the neuroectoderm of the diencephalon. Okay, that's the hypothalamus. Now it differentiates into two parts. Um, that's the pars posterior, also known as the pars nervosa, and the infundibular stalk. Okay. Now let's look at the pars nervosa here. Um, this is the pars um, nervosa, okay? And this is the infundibular stalk, all right? These are the two parts of the posterior pituitary gland, also known as a neurohypophysis, okay? With that, guys, we are done about the embryology of the pituitary gland. Um, do like our channel and stay tuned for more and more videos. Bye for now.